What's going on guys? We're just gonna go ahead and react to this Sam Smith video. I'm gonna have it over here. It's a little small, so I'm gonna play it for you guys a little bit bigger. But I uh, just wanted to say shout out to Shuri Shut for getting this, uh, even though she was, or um, he was being nice about this. Not sure who this user is, but I just wanted to let them know that this is where the video comes from. All right, so let's check it out. First thing first is what I want to say is uh, it's <clears throat> it's just really wild how listen I'm not sure what Sam Smith is trying to do I know he has come out as what non-binary at this point um, but he has gone into a spiral from what I can tell he went from just a little bit there then he went he was gay we already knew that for a long time. Uh, then he went to non-binary, but then he went more sexual. And that's what I don't ever understand. It's just when somebody starts to change and say, hey, they're non-binary or anything like that, there, there would be no reason for Sam to be this outwardly sexual now. Um, this is what we were talking about in my previous video. People want this sexual release. Now, I know we can go into any other thing, and there's groups behind the scene making him do this, and I'm sure... That's an argument that can be made. But if we just want to talk about outside of that and from us average people standpoint, this is what people, some people want to do. They want to branch out. And some people are saying that Sam Smith is trying to get attention or they're making, it's making people want to talk about him, not just him, but the whole overdoing it thing. And I think Sam has just spiraled into a place of letting himself just give in to any of these sexual fantasies that he has because we remember how he started and where he is now. And you see he's gotten bigger and all this kind of stuff. So I think he's just giving into everything. And I, this is what we talk about when we talk about giving into despair. We see this happen in our own lives. Because it's easy for us to point at Sam Smith and go, wow, he's out of control. And he is. But we see this in our own lives. I have not gone this far to shake my booty and all this kind of stuff and act like a stripper. But I've gone to some very sexual deviant things that I'm not proud of. And it's because I decided to give into despair instead of seeing what would life be like if I just live with some true hope or some true openness. We see other people spiral down into drugs. We see other people turn into sex addicts and become proud of it. We see other people turn into meth addicts, alcoholics, it, or we don't see any of that kind of stuff. We just see some people turn into terrible people or thieves, or stuff like that, or on the inside. They, they may be struggling at their own home, but you just don't know it. We all do the spiraling. The bad thing is with Sam Smith is we have to see it up close and personal because he's a celebrity. But what Sam Smith here is representing is all of us. When we decide that we're just going to give in to anything and everything, this is what happens to us. And you know, it sucks because, once again, Sam Smith may be going through something really tough in his life. And I'm not, I'm not trying to let him off the hook. But at the same time, he's doing this in front of children and stuff like that. And I know you can't help who comes to your concerts, but at the same time, there's people yelling and you know there's people who got kids in there who are just like, oh yeah, we love it. Because you know that Sam has been on this spiral, yet, you know, you just still take your kids to something like this. It's just something to think about. Let's uh, finish this up. By the way, it's, it, and this is something that I really think about when it comes to music. And I, I have to push into this that we got to understand some things can be demonic, but that doesn't mean they're going to sound terrible. Sam Smith is like we saw with Little Uzi Vert. Little Uzi Vert doesn't sound bad when he raps or sings and he has great music, but that's the point, right? Just because something great doesn't mean there's something behind it. Sam Smith clearly has a wonderful voice wonderful voice 
We see a lot of artists with gifts and talents, and some of them push themselves into this. It's the same thing we see in our own lives. Some of us are really gifted and talented in certain ways, but when you take that, that gift and talent of yours and use it for something as like this, or you're going through something tough, you decide to go, hold on, I get my camera back on. You decide to go into a uh, spiral. Come on, camera. Hey. You decide to go into a spiral, and it starts pushing you into this place of, I'm just going to be sexual. I'm going to do these satanic things and all this kind of stuff. Your talent kind of allows you to have, to push it even to more people. Because if Sam Smith couldn't sing all this extra stuff he's doing, it wouldn't even matter. If Little Uzi wasn't a great dancer and a great personality, nobody would care. But, but you got to understand, people who have these gifts and talents can use it just as much for evil. And we all can. This video is not just about Sam Smith because it's easy for me to attack Sam Smith because he's the one we're seeing. But if you guys was to watch my life, you could see me doing this same kind of stuff. Not in this exact manner, but I've gone through some very dark times in my life where I did some sexually deviant things that you guys would never know. And I'm only saying that because I'm not going to. I always say this. Y'all see I have the tattoo that I need to get redone. Y'all can't see it, but I have a tattoo that says everybody is redeemable. And I truly believe that. And I believe that Sam can turn his life around. I don't think he's done. I'm not here to make fun of the man. I'm just here to say, like, it's it's it's, it's something that happens to all of us, you know. And it's, it's, it's sad to see this is where we're going. So much talent. And here it is. But hopefully... Sam can turn this around and we can forgive him because now it's going to be hard for him to, to, to move forward from this. Either he has to stick with this or he's going to have to come out and be like, Hey, I kind of lost my mind. And this is just how it goes. And it's, it's embarrassing. We've seen it happen with a lot of celebrity, um, Brittany, Amanda, Lindsay. We've seen, we're seeing it happen with Sam. We've seen the Kardashians have their slip ups. We've seen Kylie Jenner have their slip ups. Demi Lovato, and the list goes on. And these are people that are normal human beings. I can name a million more people that y'all don't know, right? Myself, you know, and then other names that obviously I wouldn't mention. But, you know, that's what I'm saying. We are just like these people, except for they're on screen. They're famous, and we're not. Do they have a responsibility? Of course they do. But we also have a responsibility to look at this man and say, man, I hope and I pray that he could turn it around. We don't have to demonize him. No. But at the same time, you know, I'm not going to be hypocritical. I just talked about Nicki Minaj and Ice Spice, if y'all saw that video, and how I was getting on Nicki about how she could honestly be a mother to Ice Spice instead of being this cougar who turns into this stuff. And I, it's harder for me when I watch Nikki, you know, and then because, like I said, it's like looking at my sister and I, t I like my own sister talking. And if I was saw my sister doing this stuff, I would talk to her like I would talk to Nikki and I would talk to Ice Spice. I'd be like, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. And so it, it, it's the same thing. And I'm saying the same thing if I knew Sam and Sam, you don't have to go down this route. But of course, I don't know what he's going through. You know what I mean? And the same thing with um, Nikki and Ice Spice. I don't know what they're going through. You know, I don't, I don't know why they feel like they have to push this agenda, but they do. And they feel like they have to go this route. But money will tell you this is what you have to do. And uh, I'm just hoping that I wish them the best for all of them. So anyway, that's my video. Let me know what y'all think about what's going on with, uh, of course, my camera falls right there. But let me know what y'all think about what's going on with Sam and uh, leave your comments down below.